Hi everyone, this is Anup from Informatica GCS team. Today we are going to learn data quality scorecards. So yes, what is data quality scorecards? How does it help to eliminate data inconsistencies? What is data quality rule template and data quality rule occurrences? So in an organization, there can be multiple data sources across teams with different possible inconsistencies such as missing or incorrect data values or inconsistent data formats. Therefore, it's a challenge to maintain the quality of such data. Using data quality scorecards, such consistencies can be tracked and eliminated. Now, let us take a look at a catalog source. So here we have a catalog source named catalog subscription 2 and the data quality results are generated for the measuring dimension validity for this column subscription cost per month. This subscription cost per month column has also a glossary term called cost as a business term. So the data quality scorecard is a result of the data evaluated for a technical rule and we define this technical rule in the data quality rule template. So we can come to new business rules and we can create a data quality rule template so you can you can quickly check how you can create this so name reference id dimension measuring method it should be informatica cloud data quality then the primary glossary term that is the term that is associated to the column then a technical rule this is what uh, the rule uh, where we define the rule against which the data is evaluated so we have set it as the cost value should not be zero and threshold and target values and also frequency it is daily weekly monthly ad, ad hoc are the options that we have for the uh, data quality job to run then um, so basically this data quality rule template uh, contains the common parameters and these the, the these common parameters are the, the ones we saw is the, the rule the cost should not be zero then the dimensions as accuracy completeness validity then the, the frequency of run and the threshold and the target values uh, these are the common parameters saved in the template and the data quality rule occurrence is responsible for running the data quality scorecard jobs so the data quality rule occurrence uh, we have to provide this primary data element this is the data element or this is the column that we have chosen from the catalog source uh, so while create uh, let's see quickly how to create this data quality rule occurrence so we, we have an option to sync up with the data uh, data quality template so whatever information or the common parameters set in the data quality rule template are auto populated here once we uh, allow this sync so the common parameters are the technical rule reference then the measuring method dimension uh, and obviously the rule template name so all this information we get from the rule template so this is how we have created this uh, data quality rule occurrence so we see, you can see this all information available so against which the data is evaluated from this column so if the rule occurrence uh, or if we choose this rule occurrence not to sync with rule template then the rule occurrence is an independent asset and that is not affected by the rule template common parameters so in scenarios where we want to use the different threshold or target values or different uh, the data measuring dimension uh, for evaluating this data uh, once uh, so we can use a separate data quality rule occurrence without syncing it with the data quality rule template so basically the data quality rule scorecard shows the percentage of data quality rule met by the current data so for this column 
let's see the data quality results so here we see the data quality result as 100% because all the five rows in this table or in this data are complying with the rule that is the data value should not the, the data value or the cost value should not be zero but in the real time scenarios if there are inconsistencies in the data we can see the values such as like first meeting with 30% of the data then 50 then 70 so over the period of time for the subsequent run of data quality rule occurrence we get to know the trend of the data and how this data is meeting the data quality rule so that is about the template and the rule occurrence for any questions you can reach out to us using these links thanks thanks for watching the video